Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for the final video of the Character Clash Tournament. Uh, we will be watching the top four matches, the third place match, and the final. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right into it with, uh, with Annika Boom versus Tyranno Hasselberry. Starting off the uh, the match, Anna goes first, played by Yui, with a strong opening of a set one pass. Great. Gets lucky off the reasoning with a ghost ogre? Interesting. Ovi Raptor is negated with Chalice. But he's able to get out the Jet Synchron and go into Needle Fiber. Uh, the Infinite Impermanence comes down to prevent that Needle Fiber from, you know, popping off even further. However, he's able to go into Dagda, and with that live Needle Fiber, he can, during the main phase, trigger its effect to summon Wonder Magician, which triggers Dagda's effect to set Scythe. That's a pretty good play right there. Scythe comes down and uh, prevents the extra deck usage. And that's honestly all he needs to uh, stave off the trains from OTKing at this point. Oh, that top deck mind control, though. Uh, gets that out of the way and kills the other Infinitrack monster. Links his opponent's monster away and passes turn. Uses Trencher's effect in the grave to summon Dozer. He uses Anchor Drill's effect to go into Earth Slicer. He's able to uh, to do some damage, um, but it is uh, honestly not going to be enough. Drawing the Lost World and then top decking the double evolution pill. That's that's game over right there. Alti Conductor Tyranno attacks. Lost World sends the baby Sarasaurus to float into Oviraptor. Oviraptor searches out the baby Sarasaurus. Normal summon the baby Sarasaurus and do some juggling of babies. <laughs> and uh, Yui just surrenders. Game number two. Looks like... Uh, Yui decided to let Kitsunebula go first. Infinite Impermanence negating the Ovi Raptor. Archosaur searching out the double evolution pill by destroying the baby Sarasaurus. Now Ovi Raptor does some juggling of babies. You know, the same thing we've been seeing for pretty much the entire uh, top cut of the, <laughs> the tournament here. Ends on the Dolka, sets the Sanctum, and Yui just skips it up. Alright, last game of the top four is Jurassic vs. Frozen. Jurassic is playing Zane, Frozen is playing Revolver. Jurassic goes first and does some Cyber Dragon stuff. However, Frozen said that his uh, EDO Pro crashed and uh, it just dis disconnects him. They decided to count it as a loss because Jurassic was going to end on Lambda, VFD, and Infinity. On to game number two. Normal summons the Star Liege to go into Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon searches out Boot Sector Launch. Collapse Serpent banishes the Dark from Grave. Going into Heavenly Spheres to search out uh, Weapon Burster. LP brings out the Black Metal Dragon from the deck. Now he can link it away to search out Darkest Metal Dragon. He summons Dr. Red by banishing LP. Links them away for Delindrus. Pitsy brings back the Red MD, which summons back that uh, Metal Dragon. Now, this, like I said before, this was the pre errata TCG uh, Dr. Red, so he's able to kind of use his effect more than once, ending on the uh, Abomination to pop his rocket and uh, clear out that VFD from the extra deck. Cyber Emergency to search out Cyber Dragon, which he summons and then runs into a Sanctum, which summons a Scythe and prevents Surazak from going into the extra deck at all. <laughs> Ash on the Machine Dupe, and then Pancrotops to, uh, I don't know, bait out the Heratic Spheres, maybe? Uh, uh, because something was destroyed here, got that Abomination Pop. And then uh, end phase a pop of uh, of the rocket there. We all float down here. 
more of a savage dragon equipped Romulus, and then he is able to go into Moral Sword Dragon to seal the deal of this game. Big number! Now it's time for that all important game number three. Ah, Core with the machine dupe. Must be nice. Riverstormer's effect to search out Anchor Drill, which is basically his Calamities engine. Gadget summoning the VFD engine. Galaxy Soldier summoning itself by discarding that uh, Cyber Dragon Hurts. It summons the second Galaxy Soldier and goes into Cyber Dragon Nova. Cyber Dragon Nova brings back the Cyber Dragon. Overlay into Cyber Dragon Infinity and then copy the levels, add up the levels, and go into Calamities. River Stormer brings itself back by popping the gadget and Calamities does its thing. And because he can't attack, he decides to go into Beals to just kind of wait it out a little bit. However, he made a crucial mistake. He summoned Beals in the extra monster zone, which means he's susceptible to Mega Fleet. Oh, sorry, buddy. That's game. All right, this is the third place match to decide who will be in third place. Uh, Frozen goes first and searches out Boot Sector with Striker. Pops itself to go into Sphere to add back the Rocket Tracer. Goes into Spheres. Boot Sector to summon from hand. LP. Pitsy. Uh, LP gets negated. At least he has Red MD in hand, so it's really not a big deal. Uh, Pitsy brings back the Red MD, and Red MD uses its effect again. Wadworld pops the Link 3 to summon two rockets from the grave, which triggers Delindris's effect from the grave to summon itself. Savage Dragon equips the Triple Burst, and he goes into the Abomination. Abomination pops the uh, that rocket to uh, snipe something from the extra deck of your opponent. A kaiju comes down, but he does have the ash for the heavy forward, and Yui scoops it up. Game number two. Trains let uh, rockets go first again. Doesn't look like he has any interaction in his hand either, so uh, Frozen is free to do whatever he wants in this opening turn. Wiven Burster searching out Collapse Serpent. Boot Sector summoning from hand. Elpy to, uh, to summon Brotor from the deck, targeting Elpy to search out Levianir. Striker's effect to add back the Tracer from the grave to hand. Banishing the Elpy to summon Red MD. Pitsy to bring back Red MD. Quad Boral Dragon pops the Triple Burst to summon three rockets from the grave. Delindra's effect triggers, summons himself. Savage, Abomination, and Levianir to snipe a card from the hand. And Silver Rocket's effect to snipe Infinitrack Goliath from the extra deck. And Phase Silver Rocket's effect summons Tracer from the deck. Spheres to bounce the Switchyard, and that's a game. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for, the finale, the grand final, the last duel of the Character Clash tournament between Jurassic and Kitsunebula. Jurassic goes first and has a pretty weak opening. He has to get through the Cyber Dragon Infinity and an Infinite Impermanence, and he does so admirably by going into Mega Fleet without activating a single effect. His Needle Fiber does run into the Infinite Impermanence, but at this point he's free to use Miscellaneousaurus to go into Archosaur, popping the Terrazon, and going into Oviraptor. Oviraptor searches out, it looked like, the Ulti Conductor Tyranno. He still has that double evolution pill to get the Overtext as well. 
access code Talker, banishing the Halka Fibrax to pop the Cyber Dragon and go in for game. That Maga Fleet though. Game number two. And Jurassic decides to go first again. Machine duplication on the Cyber Dragon hurts to get out two Cyber Dragons to go into River Stormer. Searching out the Infinite Track Trencher. Anchor Drill summons the Trencher from the hand and then attempts to add the levels together to go into Calamities, but Kitsun Nebula has that Ghost Ogre to prevent the VFD from coming down. Destroying that Jet Synchron to prevent him from going into Needle Fiber, but he does have that set rotation and Diagram's able to pop the Baby Sarasaurus and go into Oviraptor, which searches out Miscellaneousaurus, which summons Harkasaur, which pops the baby in hand, which searches out double evolution pill, which summons a baby, which will be raptor double. Oh my gosh, this combo is just so much advantage. Lithogasm comes down, and uh, he still goes into needle, needle fiber, bringing out the ghost ogre. Double, double Evolution Pill summons the Ulti Conductor Tyranno. Axis Code Talk comes down, popping the Lambda, and uh, OT Kang. So, yeah, that was um, uh, kind of one-sided. I mean, the uh, the war of, of the two best players of the character clash came down to the fact that uh, Kitsune Nebula had a Mega Fleet in his extra deck. Uh, that was his uh, secret tech, if you will, for uh, basically anything that can uh, get out the Cyber Dragon Infinity. So either Cyber Dragons or a lot of the uh, the Winged Beasts uh, decks were able to go into that with Soul Shave. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the entire tournament. If you want to check out uh, the entire playlist, I have that uh, link up in the top right corner right now. And uh, you can watch uh, Dave struggle with his Marincess. I think we have uh, uh, my matches and maybe some adjacents and Kieran's on the, the, the live stream um, archives as well. Uh, so yeah, that, uh, that was a ton of fun. I really enjoyed playing in this and seeing all the, uh, the neat uh, decks and tech choices that everyone made to, to get around the 40% limitation. Um, and until next time, uh, I will see you guys later.